A lot of talk today about the Braves having an interest in White Sox left-handed starter Chris Sale. And I have to admit, Kincaid, it's got my interest. I bet it does because the top of the rotation starter for the Braves would be a great, great thing. And the move could be coming, Buck, because I heard the Braves removed all the scissors from their offices this morning. So that could very well be a uh, move that could be right around the corner. You know, Sale, actually, his street cred went up when he did that with me. Those ridiculous uniforms they were asking him to wear. His street cred went up with me. But get used to this idea. If you're going to get Sale in a deal, you're going to give up one of these top prospects. And I'm talking Ozzie Albies. Uh, you're talking Malik Smith. Uh, just to start with two names right there, I know Braves fans were hoping to see them in Braves uniform, but you're going to have to give some of the, one of those guys up to get him in here. You talk a big game, Buck, but I didn't see you take scissors to some of the crappy gear that Scott McFarland's given us. Well, I did get drafted by the White Sox. During that era, they were wearing those uniforms. I refused to sign. <laughs> That's very, very good. I know this. If you tell me that Ender Inciarte is staying and you might have to give up a Malik Smith or you may have to give up an Ozzy Alsby's, I'm fine with it. I'm not sure that Aaron Blair is getting a lot of people off their couches, though, around Major League Baseball. Well, what happens is the White Sox tell the Braves who they're interested in as far as the pitching prospects go. We have, uh, we've got a boatload uh, of these pitching prospects, so, hey, take your pick and let's get the deal done, hopefully. If they add a top-of-the-rotation starter like that, 2017 gets a hell of a lot more interesting.